Today, special bomb training. So, we are going to be on the floor, uh, exercise that really isolates the glutes. So here on the side and here um, on the back. And all be functional with a funny exercise to bring all together. Let's go. If you're not having a carpet or anything, or you doubt on the carpet, grab a mat. Uh, if you have a bump, grab some pillows and some water. So we're going. We're starting on the side. Up. So you can have here. Try to have a long arm on the side. A pillow between your your head and your arm. For the bump, a pillow just under the bump, you bend your knees, you align your heels with your bum and you make sure your chest is forward, so you're not relaxing on the top. Everything is engaged, just enough to bring balance and to make uh, your body aligned. So from here we start with the oyster. So the oyster, we want to move the top leg up and down. Really have the image of the oyster and you want to open and close. Okay, you don't want to move the hip. You try to keep the hip stable, bringing your pelvic floor in. You keep your stomach in to keep the rib cage aligned with the hips. You inhale, opening the ribs. And as you exhale, open the knee. And as you inhale, close. So if you can, every time you open, a bit more pelvic floor, a bit more tummy in. Eight more times. Make sure you're not rolling on your, on your, on your bump or on your tummy though. Now if you don't feel the hip at all, or if you have um, a few, just a bit of awareness of your body, you can still check putting this hand here on the back and make sure this hip doesn't move, or as less as possible. Because you don't want to feel the lower back. You want to feel here, just the, the little kind of uh, dip in the cheek. Just this bit. Two more times. And we go down. Now you should feel a little burn, maybe going down or along the, the thighs on the ITB. So just relax it a bit before the second exercise on this leg. So we are going with a straight leg. So you push here, you, you have your, your leg at the hip high, you push your heel, you flex your foot, you bring the turns to the shin bone and this is the same position you want to align. You want really to have, if possible, one line between the, the fingertips here with the rib cage, the hip and the leg. Okay? You can adjust. Use your stomach to stabilize your rib cage. Use your pelvic floor or tummy button to use to stabilize your hip. Now from here we're going up and down. Just a, a, a small range of movement. You inhale going down. You exhale going up. And this type of exercise is really uh, 
the importance is how to be precise into the movement. Less the hip is moving, more you can be efficient on the muscles. Okay? Six more times. Stop before if you need. Just one more. And down. Now bring your leg back forwards. Relax. Oh, just there. Ah, just a slight kind of stroking the bum. Just say thank you for resisting and just relax a bit there the thigh don't need to rush okay so how to bring some strength without stressing or without fighting your body up now use this hand again push yourself up voilà. relax a bit more the leg if needed and let's change the other side Up. so the same you bend your knees and the right spot for your bump if you have one you lie down And you make sure you try to alight. So the arm, rib cage, use your stomach, hips, use your pelvic floor, tummy button, and heels. And from here we start with the oyster. So inhale, exhale. six more make sure again the hip doesn't move want to keep the knees this one above the other one oops sorry check sometimes here on the on the stomach that's the three Taking the time to really adjust everything, ask the right muscles to work out. Last one. And relax, relax a little bit. Say thank you. <laughs> Up. And now let's do the second exercise. We push the foot out, align with the rest of the body. You might feel a bit more space here between the hip and the rib. Up, but we keep the stomach in. Inhale here and exhale. We go for 10. Up, control. Or try more than control just try to respect the range of movement of your body keeping the hip as still as possible don't need to go too high don't want to disturb the alignment Three more. Yeah, there is a lot of focus on, so the numbers kind of 
flies away. <laughs> Bring your knee back. Once you're in this position, relax completely. Let go of any tension. You don't need to grab on them. You don't need to fight them. And thank you, cheeky. The dip in the cheek. Up. Now let's go for the more bigger muscle, but still without fighting. So. We are going on um, the elbows and the knees. So if you need a bit more comfort, keep your pillows with you. There. So elbows under the shoulders. Make a bit of space between your knees. Enough to keep your balance. A long spine. And a stretch one leg out. Off. here and from here you want a long leg aligned with the knee up. and you want to uh, bring the knee in and push your heel out just 10 times We try to keep the balance with the three supports we have on the floor. Six more. And try really to contract your glutes and your hamstrings here when you're, stre when you're pushing. One more, put your knee down and relax a bit. Up. I'm not going for any rush. Here. Just relax. Relax the supports, shoulders and the back, and a bit the abs. Drop and a lot the abs and let's go for the second one Up. so first stretch your legs out your leg out aligned engage pelvic floor and tummy in and then inhale bring the knee in exhale push the heel out for 10 times five left make sure you're really really going for the length of your leg tour stomach in And down. Relax a bit. Just push your bum out. If you can, just sit down. Put your bum um, on the on the heels and stretch your arm forwards. Up there. Gently. Now one more exercise. Up. Stand up. So the last exercise, just a bit more fun, we try to bring the whole bum together, what I call the jelly bum exercise. So up, so just the bends, here you make space, you bend slightly your knees, what can happen here? Not a squat, just some shaking, just here, just run, you relax your bum. Tuck, 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 tuck. 
here. Go put the timer, 30 seconds on, here. And you just relax your bum. Up. You can go forwards, you can go backwards, you come back, and you relax. And that's it. We've done a special bum. So remember, you can do that another set or two other sets if you want. You can just do one set. The goal is to feel really each part of your glutes and then bring everything together and to enjoy. Now if you can push a bit more, do it. If you don't feel it, just one set is good. Okay? Remember, you're here to love your body, not to fight against it. Until next time.